We're looking forward to the spring. Some families already thinking about next winter and how they're going to pay for heat. One local agency helping those folks warm their homes, having some hardships of their own. News H Jamie Muro joins us live tonight from our newsroom with more on that. Jamie. Well, Keith and Sonia, Operation Fuel helps thousands of families a year, but if donations do not come in soon, there could be some cold days ahead. It's either a winter to remember or one to forget. The bottom line, it's been cold, and when the elements bear down, the reality becomes harsh for those needing heating assistance. Pretty much the same as it was two winters ago where we were processing up to 150 applications a day. Brenda Watson is with Operation Fuel, an agency and dedicated to making years. sure low income we'll residents have year round energy assistance. Oftentimes families are faced with uh, do I um, pay all of the rent this month or do I pay the utility bill or, or request an oil delivery. And uh, it's a really tough call for a lot of the families, and that's where we, we come in. Through mid-February, Operation Fuel has given out more than 2 million in energy assistance while there's still almost a million left to help, an estimated 4,000 people. But there is great risk that account will be dry by March 15th, so donations are needed. What we're faced with this year uh, is is households who were, were two-income households and now down to one income or, or unemployment income for both working parents. A New England winter. We all know how brutal they can be, but if Operation Fuel was forced to end its assistance earlier than normal, it could be a very cold winter indeed. You can add a dollar on your utility bill. That's the easiest way to give, or you can send us a check. And of course, the need is all across the state, although the largest area that they help is here in New Haven County. Now, so far, they have raised $250,000. The goal, however, is to reach $1 million. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.